Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. And if you if you watched my channel in the past, you know I invest based on what I think is going to happen in the future. And I believe that the future is depend is determined by the events that happen within our life, such as I have repeatedly said the most important event that has happened in my life is is was the um, the falling or the pandemic, the introduction of the pandemic about uh, 15 months ago, because it's going to change our world. It's going to change our infrastructure. It's going to change our healthcare system. It's going to change our manufacturing. It's going to change our government. Everything is going to change. Uh, prior to this, the, the most important event was that of World War II. But things happen as a result of change. It's not so much what are interest rates and what is the inflation rate. Yeah, that affects some, the stock market at some. But if you really want exponential growth, you have to hone in on change. And we had an event. Um, it was on uh, uh, June the 24th, about a week ago, uh, not even a week ago, when the, um, when the bubble burst in, in the real estate market. And I want to show you that so that you, you understand what's going to happen next. And then maybe collectively we can, we can sort out what the ramifications are going to be and, and what is going to happen in the stock market as a result of it. But my premise is the real estate bubble burst on June 21st or June 24th at 1 a.m. in the morning in Miami Beach, Florida. Let me show you what I mean. Hang on a second. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. That was the video of that building coming down. I, it, 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 it's a tragedy. There's what, I've, I think over a hundred people who perished in that building. But I think the ramifications are going to go far beyond that. I think that we need to recognize that there are 300 more high rises in Miami just like that. Now, they weren't all built um, 40 years ago, but I think it's fair to say that those buildings, the, the, the future building on those buildings are going to stop and there's going to be some, some ramifications that we need to address. Give you an example. The tall, tallest building there in Miami is the, um, Panorama Towers. It's 85 stories. The one you saw go down is 13 uh, the second one is the Four Seasons. It's 70 stories tall. And um, the, 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 I want to point out the uh, Te Tequista Point was built in 1999. It's down the road. It's 22 years old. It's 40 stories tall. There's 269 condos within two, two towers. Here's a picture of it. I'd ask you the question, if you were going to Miami this weekend to celebrate 4th of July, would you check into any of those condos? Would you sleep overnight in those condos? I was out walking in Jamison Park yesterday, and I came across the gentleman. He, was, he and his dog were sitting by the creek, and we just got in and conversation and it led to this event and as it turned out he was a civil engineer and he said to me he said uh, I retired and the, the guy who replaced me was also a civil engineer and he says I was talking to him day before yesterday um, and he shared with me that his mother lived in the Champagne Towers and that she had called 48 hours two days before and said son this building's making a lot of strange noises. 
And should I be concerned? Again, he was a civil engineer. And she said, Mom, why don't you go st stay with Joyce? Joyce was his sister, uh, her daughter. Uh, and, and let me look into it and let me phone around and, and find something out. She said it was, it was moaning. The building was moaning. Well, we all know what happened about 36 hours later at 1.30 in the morning. It came down. You got to know there's going to be a congressional investigation. There are going to be people, thousands of people, trying to get out of their obligations to pay the mortgages on condos uh, up and down the beach of Miami. You know that, that if your mother were living in one of those condos, you'd say, Mom, let's put it on the market and get it sold and get you into a single family home. The condo business down there is going to crash. Is it going to be limited to Miami? I don't think so. I, I, I went and I looked and I said, who else has a lot of, of high-rise buildings? Hong Kong has 7,685. New York City, 5,924. San Pablo, Brazil, 5,600. We go to Panama City. That's where we were just uh, last month. They got four of them between 18 stories and 30 stories tall. And most of them were built in the 90s. Down, we also go around Destin, Destin Florida. They have over 20 um, of varying ages. If I was going, and I'm going to Florida, um for Thanksgiving, and Nita and I'll spend either a week or two weeks down there, you, were, you aren't going to get me in a 13-story building adjacent to the, 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 the ocean, the gulf down there, built on sand. You, you, you got to know that, you know, this was 13 stories tall, and as the erosion and the, the water seeping into the foundation... As that building started to tilt forward, it hit a tipping point. And at that tipping point, it came down. When you have a building, that was 13 stories. When you have one that is 70 stories or 85 stories, that tipping point is just, is, is, is even less of a lean forward. You're going to have a hard time getting me into a condo like that. The, the, the risk and reward just isn't there. If my mother was alive, I wouldn't let her. I, 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 at this point, I'd be talking to a real estate re agent, recognizing that I wasn't the only person talking to that real estate agent or agents. And I'd say, get my mother out as quick as you can. I don't care what the price is. The prices on those are going to tumble. The buildings are going to stop. The, 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 the Florida has already issued a mandate that any building is over 20 years of age has to have a civil engineering report within 60 days. Now, what's when, when, when the bubble burst, it, it has far further reach. What's going to happen to the banks? What's going to happen to the banks with uh, all those mortgages? Well, we know if if you're if you you were paying on the one that pancaked down, and you were on the seventh floor, and you're now dead under a pile of concrete, you aren't going to pay your mortgage. Your kids aren't going to assume your mortgage. No one's going to assume your mortgage. So the bank's going to eat that one. Now, as you've got a you you just bought a uh, a one five years ago, and you got a thirty year mortgage on it, and you're on the the fortieth floor of what was the name of it the 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 T E Q U E S T Tequesta Point, and you're on the top fortieth floor, and you got twenty more years on that mortgage. You gonna bail? I think you are. I think you are. You you know. The value of that building is going to come down, and it, it's the last one out who loses. So what's going to happen to the banks? They're going to have foreclosures. They're going to be people who just walk. 
particularly if it's owned by a corporation, they'll just walk and let the bank suck it up. So what does that mean to you and me? And and wait, it won't stop. It it to me any high rise condo that's built on sand on any continents bore, uh, uh, seaside they're 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 going to empty. Um my wife just asked me uh while we were down on Jekyll Island we stayed at that hotel um and it was uh about 9 stories tall would you stay in it again? I, I wow, I got to think about that. I got to really think about that. I need to see these these reports. I need to understand. But in the meantime, no, I don't think I will. I don't think I would. Well, I'll, I'll find a single family home and um, and rent it, a, a rental, a, a vacation um, by owner. Um, so what am I going to do? I know if, if I could short construction companies in Miami, you bet, because they ain't going to be working for a while. Um, do I want to be in bank stocks? No. Do I think I want to be in single family homes in Florida? Yeah. How about trailer parks? Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people moving away from those high rises. The, 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 the single family real estate is going to be just escalate in price because you're emptying those, what did I tell you, 300 high rise condos along the Miami beach and then go up to Fort Lauderdale and then go up to Daytona and then go up to, um, the other cities on up. This is a investment opportunity to stay away from the banks. Now, what does that mean to us as a nation? As I said, there'll be a congressional investigation. Everything will stop. We've got then on top of that, we've got the forbearance coming off of the banks uh, on July 30th. Do we see another insolvency of the ba- or lack of liquidity within the banks? What was what happened? when we saw that before. Well, we saw it in in 2008. And uh, as a result of that, the federal government pumped $4 trillion into the economy to get us out of that or into the banks to get us to save them through the subprime crisis. Then when the banks had a lack of liquidity, in March of 2000, they pumped another $4 trillion to keep them liquid. Is this as big as the pand- pandemic crisis relative to the banks? I don't know. I'm, that's, that's above my pay grade. But I know they aren't going to let them fail. It wasn't their fault. They shouldn't fail. But the reality is this is going to affect your investments. How will it affect it? If you aren't in the banks... It won't be affected, but that's more money coming into our economy. And where's it going to end up? Well, it's going to end up the same place it ended up in 2010. And that went to tech. And then it's going to end up the same place it ended up in uh, 2020. uh, And that went into tech. Why? Because tech is what the solution to all our problems. Tech is the solution to our medical problems. Tech is the solution to our broken supply chain. Tech is going to be the solution to this. Tech is going to be called on to say, evaluate these, give us some artificial intelligence and tell us the next one that's going down. So I'm going to stay invested where I am. Um, I'm going to stay invested in what's going to change the way I live, and I'm going to stay focused. And I guess that's really the emphasis of this video. This has nothing to do with inflation. This has nothing to do with interest rates. This is an event, an event. We had an event called the coronavirus 15 months ago. We had an event called the cyber attacks of the colonial pipeline um, about a month ago. We had an event of a collapsing building in Florida. 
This is how I direct my investments. That's what this channel is all about. Figuring out what's the undervalued asset today relative to the event that happened yesterday. That's what Best of Us Investors, that's what Kerry Grinkmeyer is all about. If you'd like to be a part of this, by all means, subscribe so you're notified when I put out the, my next intelligent video. And then, and then come to bestofusinvestors.com and, and, and sign up for our Discord um, where we talk about this. We, we call it a tribe, uh, the power of the tribe. I'm of the belief that if you and I put our heads together, we're smarter than just me. If we can put a million heads together, we're smarter than a quantum computer. And we can figure these things out. That's what this channel is all about. I don't care what the interest rates are. I don't care if there's inflation. Tech's going to take me through it. I know. I know what's going to happen in the future. I read. Believe it or not, I read. The future is coming faster than you think. And it just took, the, somebody just hit the accelerator in the last 15 months. And it's coming quick. So that's my take for the day. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.